just keeps getting thicker. I feel like we're not getting anywhere. Mark! Oh, Yellow Wolf! Mark, help me! The ground is slipping out from my feet! Help! I'm right here! Mark, you saved my life. Thank you. What did you expect? Huh? Ah! Look out! That snake, it's enormous! Come on! Lizards! Oh! <gasps> Monsters! Oh. Let's get out of here! Pocahontas! Don't go any further! There's a whole bunch of monsters back there! Enormous snakes and gigantic lizards! We have to turn back! Your friends are right. It's very dangerous. I am a Seminole. I know this area well. <clears throat> Don't be afraid. I come in peace. Allow me to welcome you all to our territory. My name is Pocahontas. Yes, I know. The Kachina spirits told me you were coming. They told me to help you and your friends while you are on our land. That's why I'm here. Can you help us continue our journey? Of course I can. You'll take canoes now. All right, but what do we do with our horses? Well, you can't take them too. You'll have to leave them here. But we can't just abandon them. You won't. The Kachina spirits are with them. This way, to the canoes. I feel terrible about leaving you here. Appaloosa. We'll be back soon, I promise. I don't feel so good about this canoe business. Those giant lizards we saw know how to swim. There's nothing to be afraid of. Those giant lizards are alligators, and they obey the Kachina spirits. Look, brave warriors. The alligators escorted us. Bye-bye! Goodbye! It's tragic. The great and powerful people who once lived in the territory with the Fire Mountains have been vanquished by the white man. There's nothing left of their glorious ancient civilization. You mean no one survived? The few who survived now live with the Pale Faces. My friends and I would like to meet them. Do you think we could? The Kachina. Kachina spirits? That's right. They gave me the power to help you. Thanks to them, you will travel through time. Oh, that's impossible! Nothing is impossible. I don't understand. Please explain. Your travels will take you back 100 years to Mayan territory. Then you will visit the Aztecs and the Incas, all of this within the same time period. The whales, dolphins, and barracudas will escort you. Good luck, Pocahontas. We've been on the boats for days. I can't wait to get my feet on solid ground. Hey, we're almost there! Land! <laughs> Great country, but I hope we'll be able to travel forward a hundred years again. a single one of these plants. Nothing strange about that. We travel a long distance. Hey, oh. look at this. Do you think it's edible? How should I know? The only way to find out is by tasting it. Here, Yellow Wolf, give it a try. No, you picked it. You try it. All right. <coughs> it's absolutely delicious. What uh -huh. are you afraid of? Uh, mm. I really don't think I... Oh, huh? Mm. Oh, my stomach. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, What's the matter, Mark? Uh, What's uh, happening to you? Uh, uh, Come quick, there's something wrong with Mark! Uh, uh, he 
eat a strange fruit. Oh, God. <laughs> you fell for it. I was kidding. The fruit was delicious. In fact, it's not just delicious. It's the sweetest fruit I've ever tasted. Uh. You really scared us, Brock. I should have guessed it was all an act. <laughs> You're right. I mean, Yellow looked so apprehensive, I thought I'd do something to give us a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time around, you won't get me that easily. You just wait. Right, Yellow. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, Pocahontas! Oh, oh, Pocahontas, I just saw something amazing! Oh. Calm down, Siwa. Calm down and tell us what you saw. An enormous city, just over there! It must be a Mayan city! Oh. Come on, my friends, let's go see! Wow, look at that! It's extraordinary! Fantastic! Life! My own! On behalf of my people, allow me to welcome you and your friends. Thank you for your warm welcome. My name is Pocahontas, and my friends and I have come in peace. I know who you are. Our priest said you would be coming to visit us. I was chosen to welcome you. You're very kind. Thank you. You may call me Jade Flower. I'm very pleased to meet you. I am Hala Queenik's sister. He is our chief. You will soon meet him, too. Hey! I would imagine you're all hungry and tired after such a long journey. Yes, we are. Mm, this smells good. We make this drink using cocoa beans. Mm, it's a strange taste, but very good. Yes, isn't it? Mm, it's delicious. You must drink it all the time. Well, yes, we do. It's our favorite drink. But we use cocoa for other things, too. Like bartering. We use it to obtain other goods. We exchange things for it. You mean it's a trading item for you? Yes, our tradesmen exchange cocoa for other goods with tribes that don't have cocoa. The bartering system is very popular here. What you're saying is you can trade cocoa for anything you want, whenever you want. That's exactly right. Um, you mean I could trade this bowl for a horse if I felt like it? No, there's not enough cocoa in there. You only need a few beans to make that drink. You need more beans than you can swallow if you want a horse. <laughs> Tomorrow, we will leave for Uxma. Very well. Now get some rest. Thank you for everything, Jade Flower. So your brother is the chief of your people. Yes, we call him Hala Kuinik. The plant and animal life is extraordinary here. It's not the same where you come from? No, not exactly. Oh, wait, we have those. Road? This one and many others. It makes trading easier. Speaking of which, these men are tradesmen. Those tradesmen didn't look like your people. You're right. Those are Mexican tradesmen. They barter with us. They prefer to be called Aztecs now, but I don't know why. Oh, so your people trade with each other. That's right. Our tradesmen have control over sea trade, and the Mexicans dominate trade on land. You can see Uxmal from here. Wow! This 
city is even bigger than the one we just saw. Soon you'll see my brother. He can't wait to meet you. My brother lives in this palace. I'm going to tell him that we're here. Go in and rest. The servants will take care of you. The Maya sure know how to build palaces. Why would anybody want to live in a stone house? You're right, it's cold in here. Hey, do any of you know where Pocahontas went? No, that's strange. Where could she have huh? gone? Who's that? Pocahontas! Oh. <gasps> it's me. It's a present from the Maya. I didn't recognize you dressed like that. <laughs> that costume looks great on you. That's very nice of you, Hoppy Ho. Whatever happened to Pocahontas? The girl we all know. Very funny, Mark. Even dressed like this, I'm still Pocahontas. Excuse me, Princess. I have been sent by Jade Flower to tell you that Halak Huynik is waiting to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Yerupaya. You may go now. My brother's going to receive you. <gasps> Great priest. Stand. Welcome, Pocahontas, to you and your friends. Our priests were foretold by divine omens that you would be coming to visit us. That's why you were expecting me. One moment. Guards, let Pocahontas' escort in. Their presence here is an honor. Thank you, Halakwinik. You're just in time to watch the ceremony. A ceremony? How interesting. It's the perfect opportunity for me to deliver my message to your people. Indeed. That is my intention. The great priests have told me you have a special message for us. They speak the truth. Oh, this necklace is stunning. Our jewelers are very skilled. Oh. All of these pieces are made of gold. And many are set with precious stones. According to our calendar, there will be an eclipse of the moon tonight. That means there will be a sacred ceremony. What is this which place used for? Sacrifices this is where our children study. The, sun. the second sons of all the noble families and a few gifted peasant boys have lessons in this school. 
They learn astronomy, the calendar, and how to read and write. Read and write? What does that mean? You don't know? Come, I'll show you. We mark the lunar eclipses on this calendar. Can you read the writing on these parchments? We write all the things we don't want to forget on these parchments. So that's writing. This parchment tells the story of a war between our people and another tribe. What? You'd say these little scribbles tell a story? That's right. How? He's right. They're just scribbles. Actually, they aren't scribbles. Each of these signs is a word. Together they form sentences, and the sentences put together tell a story. It's witchcraft. It has nothing to do with witchcraft. It's knowledge. These parchments contain a record of what exactly. happened in the past. Uh, uh, this one tells about the creation of our dynasty of rulers. But you can send messages this way, too. Why would you want to do that if you want to send someone a message? You still have to send a man to bring it. And instead of bringing a parchment, he can just speak the message. That's true. But uh, he could forget the message or get it wrong. But a written message leaves no room for error. Well, my people don't know how to read or write, and we manage just fine. What does this parchment say? It tells the rules of a game in which the aim is to get a leather ball through a ring. And this one? It explains how to build a temple or a monument. Bothering you, Pocahontas. I'm not feeling very well. Let's go outside. Some fresh air will do you good. Oh, look at those beautiful birds. According to our calendar, there is going to be an eclipse tonight. Our calculations have shown that there is an eclipse approximately once every 73 years. We can predict the eclipses for the next 300 years. It's an omen from the gods that your arrival coincides with a lunar eclipse, but it's still unclear to me if it's a good or bad omen. doubts to rest, we will offer sacrifices. Sacrifices? Yes, to help purify our blood. Why? What for? We must offer sacrifices to the gods, otherwise they will be angry with us and disasters will befall our people. Huh? What's the matter, Pocahontas? You look upset. Talking about the sacrifices? Yes. I know, Pocahontas. It's horrible. The Great Spirit doesn't need sacrifices. He wants peace to reign among his people. Why don't the Mayas understand that? You're right. And I think that might be why the Great Spirit sent us here. 
to put an end to these barbaric traditions. Tomorrow, we will try to make the Maya understand that all these years they've been doing something terribly wrong. <laughs>